greetings humanity of the world, it would seem, more of our brothers and sisters have been kidnapped by the judicial systems across the globe, in their ongoing effort to repress and I censorship, resistance, and revolutionary movements. We have been labeled and prosecuted as cyber terrorists, for our efforts to expose and fight corruption, implement transparency, and resist the sway of secret intelligence entities bent on our destruction. Anonymous has witnessed arrests and convictions under the hand of oppressive British, French, Romanian, Turkish, United States, and other law enforcement agencies, for government and corporate whistleblowing, and even such activities as using Twitter, spreading links, and making videos. Our governments have not only stepped on the rights of these arrested individuals, but on the basic rights of all people, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of association. We will never be content to stand by, and watch our freedoms be eroded. Transparency cannot exist in government lockdown. Those arrested believe in a cause, believe in the freedom of expression, believe in all of us. It is not only our responsibility to support those in trouble, but it is mutually beneficial. By having the backs of those arrested, charged, and held, we send a message that we are not afraid, that we will never give up, that we will fight harder now, than ever before. We, as Anonymous, have an undying responsibility to people who have been jailed as freedom fighters. By waging this fight, we show others we stand by our comrades and friends when things get difficult. This is especially true when those innocent of any crime have been branded as criminals and members of an organization that doesn't even exist. A court case can be a rallying point, a way to show others we are still here and we will never forsake the arrested and persecuted, and we can win, if we stand in solidarity with people who have the courage to take action against oppressive governments and corporations, prosecutors, and law enforcement agencies. Drop all charges and investigations on all anonymous defendants. Your prosecutions may be your professional regard by corrupt governments, but they shame your citizens. You will never win the real battle. That victory belongs to us. Anonymous cannot be stopped. For every one of us that falls, ten more will take their place. They can harass and arrest some of us, but they cannot detain all of us. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.